welcome back in our last class we have already learned the declaration and initialization of character arrays or strings and we have also seen that how to read a string from the terminal or how to print a string on the screen in today's class we will be learning various string handling functions that we use in c programming to perform various string related operations more efficiently with less number of lines of codes the first string handling function that we can see on the screen is strlen this function we use to calculate the length of the string so what this function does this function counts the number of characters that that particular string has and returns that value so always the output of this string handling function is a numeric value and this is the syntax where we can see on the left side of this assignment uh, symbol we have this variable var this var is actually a variable a integer variable as i said that uh, the output of this string will always return a numeric value an integer value so the type of this variable that we have on the left side will be always integer and on the right of that assignment symbol we have this keyword or this function strlen and then within parenthesis we have this argument string now this argument can be a variable or string variable or that can be directly a string constant if it is a string constant then that will be given within double quotes as we know the rule we have seen in case of initialization of a string and the whole thing is terminated by a semicolon now when it will calculate the length of that string then whenever it will find a null character we are already familiar with the null character then it will stop counting there itself so we have to be very careful when we are assigning or we are initializing a string because even if it is not the end of the string but if it finds any null character then it will understand that it is the end of the string and it will return the length of the characters or number of characters that it has counted just before that null character now this is an example how we use that function so strlen that string function or that keyword then within parenthesis and within double quotes this string constant and the whole syntax is terminated by semicolon now this is a sample program where we have used all the four string functions that will be discussed in this class in the first part as you can see before we have used this string related functions we have already declared the required variables along with their data types and we have also initialized all the strings that we have used in this program now in the first part we have used the strlen this function that will calculate the length of the string and which string string 1 and in the string 1 what value we have initialized with it is tamil nadu and we know that in that string we have nine characters and since this is string so there will be one extra character that, and that's why the size of that string was declared as uh, 10 characters now when it will return the length it will return the exact length of that string particular string so it will return 9 and that we have since we have already executed the program so we can see that what output it has written in this printf function within this printf function it is length of the string and it is returning this value of this variable and that variable is storing the output that we are getting by executing this string function so basically it should return 9 the second string function that we use is strcpy and that string function actually copies the value of one string to the another string basically it works like an assignment uh, operator where the value that is stored in one string variable is assigned to the another string variable and this is the syntax where we have this keyword or the string function strcpy and within parenthesis we have two arguments string one and string two and these two arguments are separated by comma here the the value of string two will be assigned to the variable string one and whatever we had initially in that variable string one that will be deleted that will be erased and the whole syntax is terminated by semicolon now this string two may be string variable or directly may be a string constant but string one has to be a string variable now this is the this is an example how we use this function so within parenthesis we have in place of first argument we have a string variable add 
and then after comma we have the second argument and here we have directly used the string constant value within double quotes as per the rule and then the whole syntax is whole line is terminated by semicolon and this is another example where uh, as arguments we have used both the arguments we have used as uh, string variables so whatever value is stored in add to in this second variable that will be copied or that will be assigned to the first string variable add one and definitely since we are assigning the value of the second argument to the first argument that's why the size of that first argument first variable should be large enough to accommodate the content of the second variable or second string constant otherwise what will happen if the size of the first argument is less than the size of the second argument or the second string constant that we are copying or that we are assigning so if it exceeds the size then rest of the characters will be truncated now again we are back to the program and here in the second part we have used this string function strcpy and uh, this is the syntax that we have seen already so strcpy and within parentheses we have two arguments and here we have used both the string variables so whatever value string 2 this string variable has and what value it has west that will be copied to string 1 and as i said whatever value string 1 had initially that will be completely erased so after executing the program what we can see through this printf function we are printing that value that now string 1 has and that value is west because the value of string 2 which was west was copied or was assigned to the string variable 1. So string 1 no more has the value Tamil Nadu. Next string function that we use is strcmp. CMP here stands for comparing comparing the strings so what this string function does is it compares two strings and returns a numeric value as per the result so if both the strings are same then it returns zero means if they match and if they don't match then it returns some non-zero value and that depends on where it mismatches means at which character it mismatches so that we will see now this is the syntax where strcmp is the keyword the string function and then within parentheses we have two arguments here we have used two string variables and then whole thing is terminated by semicolon here string one string two maybe string variables maybe string constants maybe one of them is string variable and the other one is a string constant that is also possible and as i said if the strings are equal then it will return a numeric value zero so if they are not equal then it will return the difference numeric difference and the ascii value between the first non-matching characters in the strings and that we will see next so this is one example where we have used both the string variables this is another example where you we have used one arguments as string variable and the other one string constants within double quotes and this is a, another example where we have used both the string constants so what you can see here is the first three characters are same in both the strings t h e so first difference we find here at the fourth character so in the first string the fourth character is i and in the second string the fourth character is r and definitely as we know every character has its own corresponding uh, ascii value so what it will do is it will uh, refer its ascii value which is a numeric value so whatever the ascii value of i is it will take that value and whatever ascii code or uh, that, that numeric value of r is it will take that value and then it will find the difference and that difference it will show as the result of this string function so here in the third example this third example if we execute then it will return minus 9 and minus 9 is what then minus 9 is the numeric difference between the ascii value of i and ascii value of r now again we are back to the program where in the third part of the program we have used this uh, string function strcmp and we have used two examples here where in the first example we have as per the syntax we have used that and uh, string 1 and string 2 we are comparing so string 1 what value it has we have seen that string 1 has now west that value because before this function we have already used the string copy that function so whatever content string 2 had that was assigned to string 1 so now at this moment string 2 has west and string 1 also has west so both the strings have same value so now if we compare 
then the sing, since both the strings are equal so it should return zero as a result of their comparison and that is stored in this in this variable which was declared as integer type variable now what it should return it should return zero value and that's what we are getting here because both the strings were equal now in the second part of that function we are comparing between string one and string three so by now string one has west that value and string three has still the value assumed that we were initialized with and when we will compare them since both the strings are not equal so it will return a non-zero integer value and that we are storing here in this integer type variable and that variable we are using we are printing through this printf function and it is turning one so this one is actually the numeric difference of the ascii values of first mismatching characters of both the strings now the fourth and last string function or string handling function that we use is strcat and that is for concatenation so this function joins or concatenates two strings this is the syntax so strcat is the keyword the string function and within parentheses we have used again two arguments so we are basically concatenating or joining two strings here and the whole thing is again terminated by semicolon string one string two maybe string variables maybe string constants so after executing this string function what will happen is the content of string two will be appended to the content of string one after removing the null character from string one because since both are strings so at the end there will be null character so first the content and then there will be the null character in the first string or first argument here and when the content of the string 2 will be appended then it's not like the both the between both the strings that null character will exist no first from the first string it will remove that null character and whatever content we have actual content of that string 1 after that the content of the string 2 will be appended so that's how it works this is an example where we have used str1 str2 these are two string variables and we are concatenating them so in the string one if suppose we have very this string this word and then followed by one space and then the null character so actual actual length of this string is actually five because first four characters and this space this space will be also considered as the fifth character or as, as uh, one of the characters and then whole thing will be will be considered as a single string and then this is the string two good and when we will execute this string related function strcat it will concatenate string one and string two so what we will do is it will do content of string two means it is good that will be appended with very and then followed by space after removing this null character so very then space and then good and then since this concatenated part this is also a string so at the end of this concatenated string also there will be a null character or you can think this way that that, that null character will come from the second string joining or concatenating more than two strings is also possible that means nesting of this function strcat that is also possible and this is the syntax this is an example where we have used or we have concatenated three strings so first the string two and string one those the contents of those strings will be concatenated and that will be that will be stored in string one so string one should be large enough to accommodate the whole thing the concatenated string and then with that next the string three the content of string three will be will be merged will be concatenated and that will be again stored in string one so that's how it works now again we are back to the program where in the last part of that program we have used this strcat that string function and here we have concatenated two strings string one and string three we know that string one has this value waste because it was copied from string two and uh, string three has value assumed so when we will be concatenating these two strings here we have not used any space after string one so they will be concatenated without having any space in between and the final result we uh, we can see here that will be stored in string one as i said and that final concatenated string is waste assumed without any space in between so that's all about string related functions that we use in C programming. I hope this class was meaningful and helpful for you. With that hope, I end today's class. Thank you.